Why, thank you. Like thank you. you, everyone. So, now am I a bard? Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. of my good deeds are starting to spread across Skyrim. And I'm getting letters by the handful for people asking for help. But today, I just wanted to return back to the Bard's College and see if I can get admitted. I was able to find Olaf's verse actually in the library of the Dragonborn Gallery, so I didn't have to go off adventuring for it. I'm not going to let them know that, though. So exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. I've always considered doing something safer than magic. And I think being a bard might be one of those things. I wonder if I can step down from being the Archmage, because it kind of frightens me sometimes. Welcome to Solitude, home of the arts here in Skyrim. Yes, Viermo? Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? Well, I found King Olaf's verse. I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. What? The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable, and the parts that are readable... Well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. Well, what does that mean? It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. No. That can't be possible. But can't we just make up the missing parts of the verse? No one will know. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Okay, but we can do this. What's the first verse? Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex Hakan for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Olaf made a deal with Numenex. Hmm. Well, Olaf did become king, and Numenex escaped later. It's, it's entirely possible. And I'm sure the court will like that. I'm writing it in. Okay, what's next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong. Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Hmm, let me think about this. Uh, 
I'm thinking that he convinced Solitude to attack Winterhold. Hmm, it's not the most exciting answer, but the most likely. I'll write it in. Is that it? It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. All right. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Hmm. Nothing like making stuff up. What is this with the walking backwards? Aren't I supposed to be following you? Noticed. I thought I had a bodyguard assigned to me. There's no one here. Oh well, I guess it's safe enough. In solitude. It's not like I'm off adventuring somewhere. Have you been to the Dragonborn Gallery? I'm helping the curator find um, relics to display. You should come sometime. Oh, I see you. Not much of a conversationalist now, are you? But it's a, a very amazing gallery. I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of it. your tone. I am the Archmage. You're the one cast those illusions. Impressive. That's right. Okay, now what? You're just gonna sit down? I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Okay, are we ready? I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Oh, hello. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear at the thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sigic monks. Man's been hitting the skooma, I say. Well, you're wrong. It was one of the Sigic monks. Have a ah, good day. Yormo. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda. Recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place. But I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf struck a deal to make himself king. Numenex let go, though none tell that tale. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From Falkreath to Winterhold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf sent word to Solitude's Jarl, cajoling and mocking and 
begging for a fight. From Winterhold, Olaf had sent every message. Upon attack, he was nowhere in sight. So ends the story of Olaf the Liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of Solitude commit to the fire. In Solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! We did it! You've done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Does that mean I'm a bard now? Soon. Soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! Okay. Well, I'm glad I could help. All right, I'm going to run on ahead. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. Where is the... Jorn? Jorn, where are you? Wait a minute. Did I see a body back here? Oh, I just imagined it. Oh, huh, okay. Where is the staircase? Okay, down here. Oh, here he Need is. Need something? Jorn? Ah, the bard to be. Did Viarmo send you? The festival is back on. I'll tell everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. All right then. What time is it now? All right, I guess I'll just wait around. Oh, here's my bodyguard, Nematis. It's about time you showed up. <clears throat> Jorn? Ah, the bard to be. The festival is back on. You? Great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. All right, Nematis, come on. Good to see you. I don't think anyone will try to uh, take my life here, but better to be safe. For convincing Elisif to put. Excuse me, Archmage coming through. Just keep an eye out. Tasty Spice wine here. Trees. First cup is paid for by the college. Can't have a meal without meat. Come and get some here. Come on, light the fire. 
I found the Tasty bowl. sugary treats. There's the man himself. Come on, I like didn't the know fire. you were a bard. Get some spice wine. Okay. A festival favorite. Um, let's go. Can't have a meal without meat. Come and get some here. We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, he becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest bard! Why, thank you. Thank, thank you. you, everyone. So, now am I a bard? Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. Really? And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. All right, well, I'm a bard. King Olaf has been burned in effigy. Alright, Nematis, I think it's time for us to move on to something else. <laughs>